Well, hello everybody. We're going today. We're going to learn how to install jQuery on your website. We're going to learn how to install it locally and with a content delivery network. And we're going to actually combine the two to get the best of both worlds. And I'll show you why. There's two methods to install jQuery on your site. One's using a content delivery network, and reasons you might want to use that would be because of faster downloads. Someone who may have visited another site that's already used the content delivery network for that version of jQuery so to be cached in their browser so when they hit your site they don't even have to download anything or well, and the second method is to install a copy on your server if if your site is up jQuery is there versus if if you have just content delivery network your site can be up the content delivery network is down you're not gonna have jQuery working on your site Putting a local version allows you to work in development when you have no internet connection as well. You have to have an internet connection for the content delivery network to work. The best of both worlds is to combine the two. Use the content delivery network with a fallback to the local jQuery file on your site. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing you want to do is go to jQuery.com and download. they got a big old download button here. So they got two different versions. Well, actually four. They got two versions of each here. They got jQuery 1x, jQuery 2x. The difference between these two is one. They strongly recommend you use this version, uh, jQuery 1x, because jQuery 2x does not support Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8, and Internet Explorer 8 is still, you know, a fairly common browser that's out today. So. For this video, we're going to go with the 1x version, which the current version is 1.11.1. .1. These are updated from time to time. So on each each one of these, 1 and 2, you have a minified version, and you have a production version. Basically, all that means is the production version is readable, human readable. The minified version is compressed for faster download. Unless you want to read the jQuery and see what it's all about, you don't really need the development version you just need the uh, compressed minified version and that's what we're going to use so what you're going to do if you're in Internet Explorer you're going to click on the compressed version you go automatically going to get a save as and you want to save it to your computer however if you're in Firefox you click on that uh, all you're going to get is a bunch, you're going to get see the actual script it's not going to recognize it to download same for Chrome. So you, what you would need to do if you're in either one of those, you would need to right click and save as, okay? Save link as to download. Now, I haven't checked in Safari or Opera. It may do the same thing or it may uh, prompt the download like Internet Explorer does. So, but anyhow, just if you're in one of those other browsers, just right click and save as and you're good to go. Now, once you have it downloaded, typically what you would do is you would create a JS folder, and that's where all your, where you put your jQuery at, any JavaScript, any jQuery plugins you may use in the future. You'll just stick it in, you know, whatever directory your JS folder, like I have here. And you want to grab the CDN. So the easiest way to grab the CDN is type in jQuery CDN. First thing you see show up is Google's hosted libraries. This is the particular CDN I'm using. I've, I know there are others. I just don't know where they're at. Anyhow, you'll go down to libraries. In the very first line there, you just grab, copy, and paste that script. It always have the, whoops. It will always have the latest version of jQuery for you, ready to go. You just get that script. Copy it. Paste it right above the body tag in your HTML page. Okay, you may be asking, well, why don't you paste it in a header? Well, you can, and it will work if you paste it in a header. The only thing is, is jQuery has to download. So if you have it in your header, it's going to have to download before the rest of your HTML underneath it downloads. Now, you want your CSS in the header because obviously you need that working before the HTML actually loads. You don't necessarily need your jQuery library loading until after the page loads. So we're just going to copy and paste that right here, right above the body tag. And then we're going to put this little bit of JavaScript right up underneath it. And again, you're going to make sure the paths are correct. Your JS folder where you put your jQuery minified version at. You just want to make the make sure that path is correct right here. 
And what this says is, basically, in a nutshell, says if this is not working up here, if this CDN is not working, then we're going to use this little bit of JavaScript, and we're going to go grab the jQuery that you have on your site right here from this source right here. So if this is working, the top, if, if the CDN is working, the bottom one does nothing. If the CDN is not working, the bottom one calls the version on your site. This is what we call a fallback. Now, if all you want to do is use the version on your site, And there you go. Just stick it right above the body tag as well. If that's if uh, you don't want to use the CDN. I recommend using the CDN. Primary reason being other people who come to your site may already have that uh, cached in their browser. And if they got it cached in their browser, they don't have to download it from your site. So it just makes things faster. And that's all there is to loading jQuery. It's very simple. Uh, for more videos on WordPress, jQuery, all kinds of videos, Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, uh, visit my site, www.skeeterz71.com.